When Predator came out, the tagline was, It came for the thrill of the hunt. It picked the wrong man to hunt. Slashback takes that premise but revises it to something that would probably read best like Aliens came for the hunt, and they picked the wrong girls. Slashback on paper seems like a Predator knockoff, but on screen it takes a Predator or alien invasion premise and uses it to explore an Inuit culture in Canada. Slashback follows 14 girls who find themselves in a crossroads. At their age, they're navigating the stuff everyone navigates as a teen. Social acceptance from peers versus feeling outcast. Living on the borders of parental restrictions. And an identity singular to how they make it versus a community identity. Yet the stakes are higher for our characters Micah and her friends Jesse, Yuki, and Lena. They are teens living in the Inuit town of Pengnatung, or Peng. They grew up keenly aware of cultural traditions like hunting and fishing, which Micah resents. They also grew up in a culture that has always faced threats and incursions in Canada during European colonization and settlement. All of this comes to the fore when the teens, going where they weren't supposed to, discover an alien artifact that attracts aliens who start attacking a town, an act of aggression they will resist. This is a low-budget movie from Inuit filmmaker Naila Inukshuk. Inukshuk and the cast come from the Nunavut territory, the largest territory in the second largest country. Nunavut, as a political entity, exists since 1999 because of the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement, which granted the land to the Aboriginal Inuit. Prior to the agreement, the Government of Canada forced the migration of Inuit tribes to the High Arctic region during the Cold War, which resulted in starvation and misery. Canada issued a report in 1994 that clarified the Inuit were moved without informed consent or support. Canada has since issued an official apology and provided compensation for relocated families, though gaps in cultural knowledge remain. Inukshuk has this history in the background as she shows Micah's father trying to pass on cultural knowledge. But Inukshuk foregrounds the day-to-day -day life of teens. This movie is a low-budget sci-fi horror film with low-budget visual effects, but it's also a coming-of-age story, with the Goonies and E.T. as inspirations. Inukshuk and her team hosted acting workshops and developed relationships with the teen girls to get into their authentic interests and feelings. Through young protagonists dealing with the drama of an alien vision, but also being a teen, we see characters at the beginning of their life with so much energy and imagining their future. What Slashback does through a low-budget B-movie lens is show how accepting one's aspirations for the future and one's culture is possible. 